This is take two. Take two at Wood Street. It's a four bedroom, one bath. I just got cut off. I don't know what happened. It's your kitchen. That's where I'm starting. I'm starting at the other end. Spice rack. There is a fridge. There is a stove. There's a uh, tile countertop. It's upgrade. Looks good. Nice big size kitchen. Good room. Throw the plates there. Food's done, guys. Get out of here. Right? There's hardwood floor throughout, except for the bathroom and the kitchen. Uh, that's that's probably more comfortable so in case you spill something. You don't have to worry about destroying the floor right away. There's the hardwood floors. Right off of there was bedroom one. Did I skip bedroom one? It's because I got distracted. I was so almost finished. This is bedroom four. <laughs> bedroom four is pretty big. It's 12 and a half or 12 by 14. So 14 across on all the rooms except for the baby room. And then this one is 12 this way. It's got a pretty good size uh, closet. So it's pretty good. So this is bedroom four. You walk this way. Right off the kitchen is the bathroom. We've got tile flooring, shower, tile surround, bathroom, bathroom. Looks good. <laughs> Same hardwood floor. This would be your dining room. So this has that same 14 this way, but I believe this to there is only like 12. The living room is gonna be the 14. I think it's like 16 or 18, I don't remember. This is bedroom three, right? Because I'm going backwards. The other one was bedroom four. This is bedroom three. It's a big room. You can fit any size bed in here. Let me help you out a little bit. This is what I do. You put a big bed here, long dresser here, tall dresser there. Yes, there's a closet. Don't look. Look at that. Whoa. That's it. People getting divorced. Right here's a nice, pretty big closet. Hardwood floors. So we saw the dining room. Right off the dining room would be bedroom two. I think this is the master. This is like the biggest square. You can fit a queen size, king size, California king, and tables, long dresser. Uh, you could probably squeeze that tall dresser here right in front of the end table. You have a little space to stand up and walk through. But this room has that same 14, but I believe this one's like 13. It's like an inch bigger than the other rooms, which are 12 going the other way. So I believe this would be considered a master. But you can do whatever you want. Now, bedroom number one is right off the living room or the baby room, or the office, whatever you want to call it. So this is the living room. It's right out, right at the entrance. There's your front door. Kitchen has your back door. This is, a, like I said, a little bit longer this way. Same 14 this way. But the baby's room, or the office, is a nine and a half by nine and a half. You can fit a full-size bed in a nine and a half by nine and a half. And oddly enough, they did not waste space. They put a big closet in this one. So, Mention you can make it a baby's room. You could put a full size bed from here to there. You can put one tall dresser there. That closet is big enough to hang everything. So this is a four bedroom, one bath, uh, second floor unit in Hammond, right close to uh, the toll road, the expressway. There's a school, grammar school, the high school. All of this is less than 10 minutes away. Uh, groceries, gas station, the toll road, uh, basically everything. You're 35 minutes out of downtown Chicago. You're about seven minutes from the train station if you work downtown. So this is a good place to be.